Since we confirmed the location of the KIS Tharkmar, Colonel Walker has been sending wings from the other squadrons to flush out her fighter complement. We've got our fighters down to size, and now it's time to drop the hammer. We are sending in a strike to finish her off. Alpha Wing will be me, Phalanx, Grey Wolf, and Sandman. I will be the flight leader and overall command of the strike. Our flight of four Hellcats will provide primary fighter cover. First we will head to Nav 1 and sweep out the few remaining fighters that Tharkmar has on her decks. Once that is done, we will proceed to Nav 2, where the carrier has retreated toward the Dakota jump point. Bravo Wing, a trio of Thunderbolts from the Mudshark Squadron will be there to provide additional fighter cover if needed, but their main job is to go after the Tharkmar's destroyer escort. If they need a hand, we will help them out. Our Hellcats and Thunderbolts only have a few minutes to clear out all enemy fighters and defenses. When that time is up, Charlie Wing, consisting of two longbows from the William Tell Squadron, will enter the combat area and commence their torpedo runs against the Tharkmar. When all is done, we will return to the Hermes via Nav-3 as not to reveal her location to any cats in the area. Alpha and Bravo wings, form on my wing. You guys know the drill. Set autopilots for Nav 1. Sandman, I'm making you the leader of Alpha Flight. I'll still be in overall command of the mission, but I want to see how you can lead a four-plane flight in combat. You really think that's a good idea? Grey Wolf, cool it. I just want to see what he's made of. Proceed to next waypoint. Fighters on approach, take it to them. to nav 2. Proceed to next waypoint. Enemy ship sighted. Looks like we're right on time. Looks like that destroyer's shield generators are down. Mud Sharks, it's all yours. Roger that. Psychopath Avatar, do not attack. That destroyer is mine. Yeah, whatever. We'll keep the little ones off you. Of course, Captain. You selfish little bastard. I heard that, Lieutenant. I'm reporting you to Major Delaney as soon as this is over. Looks like the cat's laid out the red carpet. Let's not keep them waiting, boys. Half dozen fighters, dark cats. No match for our Hellcats. Bloodhounds, take out that fighter cover.
Oh, so you need assistance? Help, backup, maybe a hug. Hey, if you're trying to take my kill, you do not attack! Damn, Captain McCoy's down! Gives a shit. Huh, look how all the stupid burn. Better than gasoline. You mud sharks can be inconsiderate bastards, you know that? <laughs> nice thing about this war, the idiots can never escape Darwin's law. Got the chatter, mud sharks. Just kill the destroyer. Definitely Kilrathi. One heavy carrier, Banta Kara class. Two heavy cruisers, four destroyers, two corvettes. Well, somehow they don't look happy to see us. We've already done our job. All fighters withdraw. Proceed to next waypoint.
Nobody's home. All pilots, set course for the Hermes. Proceed to next waypoint. Mission complete. Sandman, you're first in the cycle. Need clearance, TCS Hermes. Welcome back, pilots. Nice job on that little carrier. You are cleared to land. Good job out there, Bloodhounds. The destruction of the Kilrathi light carrier would have wrestled this system back under Confederation control. However, the arrival of the new heavy carrier group has spoiled those plans. We've identified the Kilrathi heavy carrier as the KIS Tapwask. Intelligence reports that the commander of that vessel has a bone to pick with Captain Moran. Apparently these two go way back. Needless to say, Tactical has ascertained that this Kilrathi will follow us anywhere to restore his honor. To that I say, bring it on. There will be a funeral for Captain Paul McCoy on the flight deck at 1800 hours. Uniform is Class A dress blues. Until then, we'll remain on standby alert. Dismissed. <laughs>